here we are already at the halfway of the halfway point and this is actually my second video of the season because like everyone else i'm just watching the team right now before we kind of just jump to conclusions there's a lot of different things this year kind of a new bottom six new winger for malkin eric carlson just the overall energy of the team at least for me feels very different this year and so basically i've been watching a lot of the penguins this year before even making any videos i wanted to watch before talking but i am ready to speak on something and today we will be talking about this penguins power play because honestly in my opinion the penguins have improved in almost everything this year bottom six is the tricky one because that was the biggest problem last year is it great no but it's way improved and they're just getting the occasional goal that's all we really need because if the top six is going to perform how they're performing we don't need goals every night we just need the occasional goal and they're already providing that way more than last year's bottom six has provided and the thing that's improved the most to me is that penalty kill that's thanks to guys like eller achari nieto uh, guys that dubas brought in in the offseason to not only improve a bit the bottom six but to massively improve that penalty kill the penalty kill units are holding it down for the special teams this year because the other half of the special teams the power play <laughs> the whole point of this video to me is the biggest problem of this season it's not the bottom six surprisingly it's not the penalty kill. it's not even goaltending things that really cost the penguins last year it's not none of those it's the power play and if the penguins miss the playoffs this year it won't be nothing else but the power play's fault it sucks so much because this penguins power play for about a decade or more was literally giving other teams nightmares how are we going to defend this power play you know teams would probably have so many video sessions about how we're going to defend this power play before their matchups with the penguins whereas now you don't need to watch any video on the penguins they are going to gift you a great penalty kill that's how the penguins are operating right now again i'm not overreacting do me a favor please after this video go to the schedule go check the penguins last like five losses go check how much they lost go check what the power plays were go look at the rangers game they lose one nothing zero and five on the power play the list just goes on and on recently to the flyers that nashville game that one carolina game i'm thinking back this is going way back but all these losses including that rangers one nothing loss these are wins because you're losing by one and your power plays 0 for 3, 0 for 4, or even 0 for 5. That is a big problem. This is a Penguins team who missed the playoffs by one point last year. So we know that these points are so valuable. And all these points that they've already dropped could be the reason why they missed the playoffs. Now, it's way early. I think they still have a good shot. But I'm saying if this power play stays the same, when it's all said and done and the Penguins miss by 3 to 6 points, it'll be no one's fault other than the power play how much is that gonna hurt considering the seasons malkin and crosby are putting up at this age so what are the solutions pretty much the main and only one that we all can agree on firing todd reardon the guy who operates the power play that's a start i think a lot can fix with that and honestly the only reason why i don't think they will fire him is because is it really likely that assistant coaches get fired mid-season i know head coaches obviously get fired but it's not something i really have paid attention to and i feel like kyle dubas is not something he's really going to do is just fire the assistant coaches in the middle of the season if anything he's going to get fired at the end of the year which i believe that's a little too late so obviously you could keep todd reardon on your team on your staff just can you give him a different role why does he got to be the power play guy so obviously either fire him or just strip him of his duties give him something else to do either that you can obviously change the format that would be nice but that would come with a new guy taking charge of the power play and then you can even change the players which they've already tried not for long but they did try splitting crosby and malkin i think changing the players around on the power play right now isn't going to do anything now of course if there's a patrick hornfist type of player out there available for some net front presence please i would love that but right now i don't think the penguins are really going to be making any trades they have no cap the assets aren't really all there uh, of course go closer to the deadline i'm sure dubas will do something but right now i don't think the solution is out there via trade it's got to come in-house and in-house when you have carlson latan crosby malkin gensel when you have these talents fixing a power play in-house should be an easy solution again it's not the players the players can be blamed yes but it's the format that they're operating in. I don't think the players decide who's going to be where. I think that's what coaching does. So, of course, right now, I would go 75% this is on coaching, 25% it's on the players. I mean, I was just watching that game versus the Flyers, and they went 0 for 5. It's just such a predictable power play. It just feels wrong everybody's not in the place they're supposed to be and the way they're passing it around is just wrong i get not shooting because you don't want to give away the puck 
If it's blocked, save, they clear. I get the not shooting thing. You know, if you want to overpass, overpass, but it's the way they're passing. No one is getting fooled from this in the NHL. This is some of the easiest penalty killing and some of the easiest saves because it's not even, we don't have bodies in front of the goalie. So the goalie, he could chill there and watch everything. And the way the Penguins pass the puck is so frustrating. Let me give you guys a little reenactment of this power play. So basically it goes Carlson, pass to Malkin, wait. Malkin to Carlson, wait. Carlson to Crosby, wait. Crosby to Carlson, wait. Carlson to Malkin, wait. <laughs> Malkin to Carlson, wait. Carlson to Crosby. And it's always Crosby who tries to do the creative things. So he'll either try to go to Russ in the middle or Gensel down low, whatever. It's going to get blocked because all the penalty killers just have to stay in the middle to block off Russ. He's the only threat over there because they know all these guys at the points and at the half walls, they're not shooting. They're not moving and at least tic-tac-toe set up the one timer but instead they're just doing these slow slow passes that doesn't open up lanes and the goalie sees everything so when they finally set up the shot it's either blocked because literally that's what penalty killers get paid to do or it's an easy save for the goalie where either is going to lead to a rebound where they clear or the whistle goes so that's my take right now because this is a team last year who had many problems and right now I don't see many problems. I see a team who plays a way better five on five game, a five on five game that deserves playoffs, but might get held back because the power play with four Hall of Famers is why they might miss the playoffs. And again, yes, it might just be the Penguins uh, players' fault as well, but it's just that format that they're playing in is so. I don't have a word for it. It's just frustrating. I get not wanting to fire Todd Reardon. Again, you don't want to make a maybe an in season assistant coach change. I get it. Just do something. The power play sucks. Try something new every game until something works. Something I've suggested, and many people have agreed. I am not the only one to uh, suggest this. Many people have suggested. It's pretty obvious. But why not throw Chris Letang back on there? The, <laughs> the power play was never this bad with Chris Letang on it. I'm not saying Letang is better than Carlson. But obviously, Letang knows how to play with Crosby and Malkin just a little bit better. And uh, obviously... Even if the power play will be 22nd in the league, that's five spots better than where it is now. So if that's what you have to do, why not try Latang or try Latang and Carlson on the power play, you know, switch it up. Me, I've always been a fan. I've said this a few times of Carlson on the Ovechkin spot. Give someone else the quarterback, the power play, give it to Latang, give it to Malkin. I saw Jay Gensel got that opportunity versus the Flyers. I liked it way better. You know, switch it up a bit because the same format, it just, it's not working. Do something else. I get not wanting to fire your coaches mid-season. I'm not asking for you to fire your coaches mid-season. Would I like for Todd Reardon to be fired? Yes, but at least change the formats. Have a talk with Todd. Hey, buddy, Todd, uh, if you're Kyle Dubas, what are you doing here? What, can I see your power play strategies? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, it's empty. What are you doing? Change it up. You know what I mean? Like, at least have a talk with uh, the guy Todd. You know, tell him, buddy, can I please help you out with your with your strategies? You know, let, let me take, give me the clipboard. Oh, okay, cool. You know, just do, do something. You don't want to fire the guy. You don't have to fire the guy, but do something to change the format. And those new things don't necessarily involve firing your coach all the time. So you could keep Todd Reardon back there, but at least change the format. That's my take. Look at this. Now, this is a tough ask, but imagine the Penguins power play was top five in the league. Right now, we're sitting in maybe top seven in the league. Top seven in the league. We're there with the Rangers, with the Bruins, Vegas. I know it. No boy, what are you saying? You've lost your mind. I'm telling you, man, look at how the Penguins are losing their games. Now, I'm saying this is if they have a top five power play. That's a big ask. They're at currently, what, 26, 27. I'm saying if they have a top five power play in the league right now, everything else they're doing is fine. And that's what's separating them from a top seven team in the league to a, you know, fighting for the playoffs that they're doing right now. That's my piece on it. I had to quickly just give my thoughts on this power play because it's that bad. It's that much of a problem. It's the problem right now. What would you do to fix this power play? Of course, firing Todd Reardon is the main solution, but do you have any other underrated solutions that you think would work? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And hopefully by then we will have scored a damn power play goal. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next one.